Welcome to day four credit form, uh, your Excel packet. Uh, this, this, this day we're going to be going over, uh, there's a couple of activities. One is uh, how to make a maze and the other one is a budget. So we're going to start with the maze. Uh, it says select A through I and 1 through 20. So we're going to start there. We're going to go here and we're going to change the line style so that it's a slightly thicker line style. And it gives us this weird pencil, but we're just going to double click over here. Uh, and we'll drag it out again. And this time we're going to do all borders. There we go. Now, the only thing, I should have left that selected. The only thing we have left to do here is go over here uh, to the format drop down menu here. And we're going to adjust our column width uh, from 8.11 down to 2.5. And that's going to tighten the whole thing up. Uh, now the only thing left to do is use our erase border option. And this is how you do it here, guys. You just uh, click away, and uh, you can make yourself a little maze through the Excel spreadsheet there. This is just sort of a fun way to get used to using the, uh, the border functions and uh, adjusting the, uh, the row widths and things like that, line thicknesses and stuff. So make yourself a, a maze that goes uh, all the way through here. You can start wherever you want, end wherever you want, but uh, the only other thing you need to do, of course, is type in start and finish, wherever you finish there, obviously. And then hopefully it turns out looking something like the one that we've got uh, in the packet there for you. All right, now let's take a look at the budget. Okay, you got two options when it comes to organizing the budget. Uh, you can do your gas and electric on uh, this uh, side here. You can do it in your, your uh, column A there. And then put your months across the top like this. And then, of course, you just use April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. There we go. So you can do it like that if you if you want, and then enter your prices there, or rather the uh, the bill amount there. And then of course you'd also need a column for total, so you could just turn this into your total column, and then maybe uh, hold that to set it off. Um, that would be one way to do it. Uh, and of course you need to put in your grid line, so we go back here. Put all the borders in, and then we'd also put. Actually, we want to extend that there to the total one as well. Um, so that's one way to do it. Uh, you can also, of course, do it the other way. We've got it going going down the column A here with your um, months of the year, and then have gas and electric across the top there. And then, of course, you do the exact same thing. You'd highlight it. Oh, here, we're going to need an extra row for total as well. We'll highlight it. We'll give all the grid lines there. We'll type in total right there. We'll bold it just to set it off a little bit. And then we'll uh, space that out. So uh, we're good. Uh, then, of course, you enter in all of your, uh, your prices right there. And then here you uh, can use the auto sum function. You guys haven't learned about the auto sum function yet, but it's a fun, uh, quick tool. And all it does is it uh, automatically, it's this button right here, and all it does is it adds up uh, everything that's in the column for you automatically. I'll show you how to use that here. Okay, so as you can see here, I've uh, put all my uh, the bills in here, and uh, I'm now going to use my auto sum function. So I just hit this button here, and what it does is it's, Excel's pretty smart, so it says, oh, you want to add all this stuff up? And if that's true, you just hit enter, it adds it up for you. And you do the same thing here, auto sum, the enter key, and voila, it added up all your bills for you. Uh, so that's kind of a, a cool thing. You'll be using uh, auto sum and writing um, some very simple formulas in uh, the day five activity. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Uh, hope that helped, and good luck with the class.